Michael B. Jordan, the director and the star of Creed 3. And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? What a corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. No, you did not hear me say I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. Isn't this the... Yeah, <laughs> man, yeah, yeah, man, oh man, uh, welcome everybody to my podcast, I am your gracious host, Jupiter 9, and man, whoo, boy, let me tell you something about that, man, yo, okay, so, boom, Michael B. Jordan, man, has an interview with some chick that he, you know, went to school with back in, I guess he's from New Jersey. I don't know too much about Michael B. Jordan. All I know is that he's in every movie now, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing, man. Salute to Michael B. Jordan, man. You know what I'm saying? He's the man. Like, ever since Creed dropped, you know what I mean? That was like a turning point in his career when Creed dropped. Uh, But... You know, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? People you went to school with, grade school, high school, kids. You know what I'm saying? Used to tease. You know what I'm saying? Used to call corny. Yo, I understand what Michael B. Jordan is going through because there's a lot of chicks out there that would call you corny for having a job. I was called corny for working a nine to five. A chick I was, you know... You know what I'm saying? Was trying to, you know, rap to or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, she called me corny. Because I told her I had a 9 to 5. And she was into the the dope boys and all that. You know what I'm saying? The street dudes uh, getting fast money. In and out of jail. Those type of dudes. You know what I'm saying? So when I step on the scene, you know what I mean? I'm just a, a cat going to work every day. You know what I mean? Working my little 9 to 5. Getting my bread. You know what I'm saying? I had my own house, two whips in the, in the in the driveway and all that. You know what I mean? But just because I had a job, I was called corny, and I, I, I've been I've been there. You know, know what I'm saying? I've been there. And chicks can, chicks can, chicks can, A lot of chicks can be ruthless, man. You know what I'm saying? You just like I said, you just never know who you call corny, who you call lame. Um, whatever other words you use to disrespect somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know what kind of student Michael Jordan was coming up in, 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 in high school and grade school, but the way he's, you know, talking to this chick is like, I don't think he was too, that popular coming in school. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, that had to be something that made him feel really good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this interviewer, I went to school with her, and she she called me corny. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if he tried to rap to her in school or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, but he got his... You know, you know what they say, man? Karma is a mother, man. And that karma came around. Like, again, people, you know what I'm saying, think they get to get away with stuff, calling people corny, stealing from people, harming people. You know, karma can be a mother, man. That karma came back right around, and she's all all up in his face, talking about he the sexiest man alive now. It's funny how, you know, when you just a regular guy with a lot of these chicks, not all, you know what I'm saying, because there's some real some real women out there still. But it's, it's funny how, you know, when you're just a regular guy and you're just trying to make it like everybody else and you're just working a nine to five and you're not with the nonsense of, you know, the street life or, you know what I'm saying? You don't have the ends to get certain, you know, type of clothing that everybody, you know, designer clothes and stuff like that that everybody else wear. You know what I mean? You know, you can be co- called corny for that, for just working a nine to five and being an honest dude. And just, you know, trying to find your way, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're doing when you're in school. You don't really really know what you want to do in life. You're just trying to find your way, trying to find who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? What you're going to be, you know, career-wise or, you know, what you're going to do when you get out of school. You don't know what you're doing when you're in high school. You don't know what you're going to do, what you're going to be a lot of times. And, you know, again, you're just trying to find your way. 
So, fast forward 30, 40 years. Michael B. Jordan, not that, not that old. So, fast forward 28 years later or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? You're the man now. You know what I mean? You're the man now. Man, you, I wish you could see his face. The way he was looking at her like, who's the corny one now? And she's the one grinning in his face. Oh, you're the sexiest man alive. You know what I'm saying? She grinning from ear to ear now. It's funny how, you know, your looks can looks can change because, you know, you're, um, you're popular or you're a superstar or you're a star or you're an entertainer and you're doing really well in your career. It's funny how people's perception of you will change you know what i mean and there's a lot of people like that out there like that you know that's that's phony and those are the ones you gotta watch out for man you know what i mean those are the ones you gotta watch out for and um you know i kind of kind of grew up with the same situation with my family and stuff like that me and my moms and my sister, you know what I mean? Growing up, we were like the black sheep of the family. And, you know, they would always say crazy stuff about us growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, we weren't going to mount to anything. We were lazy. We were fat. You know what I mean? And just saying all types of crazy stuff when I was coming up as a kid. And, you know, I could tell you to, 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 to grow up and, you know, work jobs, nine to five, stay out of trouble. You know what I mean? And a lot of my, my uncle's children... You know what I'm saying? Like, I got cousins who are, um, I got a cousin who's lesbian, number one, and I got a, a, another cousin who ended up being a stripper, but she changed her life around. She's no longer a stripper, but what I'm, the point I'm trying to make here is, 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 is that, you know, when I was coming up, we were the ones that, you know, my uncles used to make fun of coming up, that we wouldn't mount to nothing, but on the flip side, my uncle's you know, my cousins ended up getting in trouble and jumping on stripper poles, being in in, in in robberies and all types of crazy stuff. Now they're not into that stuff no more. And I'm, I'm happy for that. But, you know, it's funny how, you know, people have this perception of you when you're younger and, you know, nobody knows where their life's going to lead them in high school. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know where they're going to do as a job or what they're going to do even after school or if they're going to go to high school, college or, you know what I'm saying? Or they're just going to go straight to, you know, get out of college, get out of high school and go straight to a, a job. Nobody knows, man, or go to the army. A lot of people went to the army, you know what I mean? So, uh, kudos for, uh, go, kudos to Michael B. Jordan, man, for handling that situation like a player. Yo, yo, he handled that shit so smooth, man. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, 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 you the one. Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember you. Yeah, I, I, I used to be the corny one, right? Yeah, she's like, oh, no, 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 no. You know. And then she was like, you're not corny no more. And he's just looking at her like, whatever, man. The more and the more she talked, you know what I'm saying? More and more that came out her mouth, the more and more she looked stupid. You know what I'm saying? More and more she looked stupid, man. But um, kudos to uh, Michael B. Jordan, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, all I can say is, man, and just I- keep doing your thing, man. You know what I mean? Because your success, it can be others. Um, what's that that old saying? Your success can tear other not tear others down, but I forget that old saying that people used to say about people who become successful. Um, but um, yeah, man, kudos to him, man. But. I'm not going to stay too too much longer on this episode. I just want to touch on that real quick. I thought that was pretty, pretty funny, honestly. You know, like I said, I know a lot of us have been through that, you know, especially with women. Like, I see stuff on TikTok a lot. You know, these guys will walk to, to a young lady and go up to them respectfully, ask them how they're doing, what's their name, da, da, da. You know, you know, this, that, and the third. And uh, they don't want no interest in them. You know what I'm saying? These guys, a lot of them don't want to be bothered. A lot of them say they got boyfriends. Not, I don't know if it's true or not. And then once they jump into an expensive, once they see these guys jump into an expensive ride, you know what I mean? Uh, all of a sudden, they chasing after these guys and they trying to get these guys number. And, you know, now they want to talk. You know what I'm saying? But five minutes ago, before you knew I had this whip, this fly, this fly whip, you didn't want you didn't want nothing you didn't want nothing to do with me. 
but now you want something to do with me because you think I got some money. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean by people's perception of other people. Just because, you know, just because somebody famous or whatever and they got bread, you know, all of a sudden they, they cool now. They no, they no longer corny. Or all of a sudden they look good. Pac even said this too in the interview. He was like, before I, before I came famous, women didn't want to be bothered with me. But after I came famous, you know what I'm saying, started selling a million records, all the women think I'm 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 handsome now. Like you know what I'm saying? Just for example, look at look at Notorious B.I.G. Before he was um bad boy, notorious B.I.G., the king of New York, hip hop, you know what I mean? Um he was the ugliest dude on the block. You know what I'm saying? No offense, but he said it, he said, he, Biggie said it himself. Dark black and ugly. So, and he was cross-sided. So, boom. As soon as he became, you know, Biggie, Notorious Big, you know, started selling records, million records, million to two million records, everybody is on his jock. You know what I'm saying? So, man, listen, man. All I can tell people is, you know, don't let people destroy your dreams and goals. You know, a lot of times you can have dreams and goals and people will try to say stuff to deter you from what you're trying to accomplish in your life. And don't let people do that, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people do that because they don't have no dreams and goals. So people will say things to deter you, to stop you from your dreams and your goals just keep you 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 keep plucking away at your dreams or goals, guys. Don't let li- don't listen to these chicks out here. Don't listen to these men out here. If it's something you want to do in this world, go do it, man. And this is the perfect time to do it right now. You know what I mean? Don't listen to nobody. You know what I'm saying? The only person you should be listening to is you. You know what I'm saying? If that's not if somebody not kicking some positivity your way, and, 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 and you know, giving you some some positive energy man don't even pay that stuff don't mind because look at michael b jordan people call him corny and all that stuff probably for no reason you know what i'm saying probably because he didn't have the flyest stuff on you know what i'm saying he probably wasn't the most popular in school and all that you know what i mean he and and, and chicks would probably call him corny and the sucker and all this stuff you know what i'm saying but look at him now man everybody all the women are on his jock now word you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how people are. That's how a lot of women are, man. A lot of a lot of women are corny. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women are corny. And, and they make a they make a, a, a butt out of themselves, man. A lot of times. Especially young women, man. You know what I'm saying? These young women are just some gold diggers, man. A lot of them are gold diggers. They just want money. And they gotta stop following all this. Carly B, Cardi B, and and Stag, um, Megan and Stallion, stop listening to this crap because it is it's messing up your perception of what a man is supposed to be and what a man is supposed to do. Like you have a job too as a woman as well. Like what are you bringing to the table, ladies, young ladies? Because most of them is young ladies who have no clue. Like what are you bringing to the table besides your um your kitty box? What are you bringing to the table besides that? Because in this day and age, you can get kitty box anywhere. Know what I'm saying? So you got to bring more to the table than your looks and your body and and your kitty box and and <clears throat> and your your toppy game. I mean, uh, it's more to being in a <clears throat> a serious relationship and building something with somebody than that. <clears throat> a lot of these women today. Young women, especially young women, uh, think a man is supposed to just go in his pocket and pay all your bills because you're potentially going to give him some kitty box. Know what I mean? And it don't. It, that's not how it goes. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be. You know, a woman is supposed to bring something to the table. A man is supposed to bring something to the table. Yeah, bro, bring something to the table, and you both um, uh, build and grow together, and you know build something together an empire you can't build no empire with it being one-sided know what i mean no man or no woman um 
owes a man anything and no man out here owes a woman anything and just because you think you're pretty and you think you got a body and you think you your cookie box is uh you know you know you know what i'm saying there's a million women out there just like you facts so young ladies cut that sh- man cut that shit out man cut it out you know what i'm saying get a grip what they used to say back in the day get a grip man get a grip out of life man know what i mean and you women you stop dissing the guys who you think is not cool you dig a lot of you women be passing by you know uh um what do you call those guys a lot of you women be passing by mechanics. A lot of you women be passing by engineers. A lot of you women be passing by scientists, like intelligent guys for the, the scrubs and the bums. You know what I'm saying? The street dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of you women be passing by, you know, um, businessmen. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women don't like an intelligent man. There's, there's very few women out there that want an intelligent man or a man who has dreams and goals and, and, and are, are pushing towards them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, uh, it could be a man, you know, he don't have nothing right now, but he got dreams and goals. To, you know what I'm saying? He want to bring you with you. And a lot of women, you're not willing to go on that ride with that man to, you know what I'm saying, to reach to that million, that two million, that, that million, that hundred million, that 500 million. You know what I'm saying? that billion now nah, y'all y'all you you women today want to get to the to the prize off rip and don't do nothing for it and it's just like yo that should be bugging me out man yo it'd be bugging me out man i'll be i'll be bugging out man you know what i'm saying the way these young ladies carry themselves today everybody will look like uh uh what's kanye ex-wife uh What's her name? Um, Kim Kardashian. Like, like, it, there's no originality. And everybody looked the same. Everybody dressed the same. You know, it used to be a time to where you know, you knew where a person, you know where a person, where they from. You know what I'm saying? The way they dress, the way they talk, the slang. Everybody talking the slang. No cap. No cap. No cap. That shit is corny. That is corny, man. Everybody saying no cap. Even people that's not even from, I guess they come from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? People in New York saying no cap, no cap, no cap. It's just like everybody is just the same, man. Everybody dressing the same. Everybody riding the same whips. You know what I'm saying? Everybody using the same lingo. It's just like, yo, this shit this is corny, man. Join is corny, man. But it's a lot of you corny women out there. You know what I'm saying? And have the nerve to call somebody else corny. Who's 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 not more cornier than her right now? She looks so corny right now. But yo, that had to feel good to Michael B. Jordan, man. Kudos to him, man. I just wanted to touch on that, guys. You know what I'm saying? The whole Michael B. with the uh the interviewer. I don't even know her name. I don't want to know her name. Hell, she got yellow hair. You know what I'm saying? How corny is that? But yo, that's my take, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please share this with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Please follow me in ACAST. You know what I'm saying? Follow your boy. You heard? But that's my take. I am your gracious host, Jupiter9. And I'm going to say peace and love to everybody. Take care. One.